When Jesus told his first wave of followers that they were to go into all the world and make disciples, could they possibly have conceived of how far that would take them and indeed future followers of Jesus? I mean, could they have even imagined what the very edges of the Roman Empire were like, let alone daring to believe that future Christians would take this disciple-making project to the top of Scandinavia, to the tip of Argentina, further west than the Atlantic, further east than here in Cambodia. And yet by the power and vision of this one man, the truth that our God reigns through Jesus the Saviour has been announced and demonstrated right around the planet. It has liberated and set free millions upon millions of people throughout history. It is a relentless and unstoppable global movement. And yet that movement, launched by Jesus' words to his first followers, have resulted in one third of the population of this planet identifying themselves as Christians. And last year, the population of the planet reached seven billion people, so we're talking about a lot of Christians. But, what about the rest? One third of the global population is considered least reached. So while Christianity has grown rapidly and continuously throughout all continents, there are many places where it's encountered barriers within countries. Barriers caused by tradition, hatred, religion, culture and language. The least reached have no indigenous community of believers to share the gospel with them. For example, here in Cambodia, less than 1% of the Khmer are Christian. So the chances of, say, this guy even knowing a Christian, let alone knowing one well enough to talk to about faith, well, they're pretty slim. Many people in these communities can go from birth to death without ever having an opportunity to hear the gospel in a way that makes sense to them. 